Well, hello, everybody. How are we doing? Here we go. Oh. We're doing some V-tips. Okay. So, my friend Andrea and her lovely daughter, Leia. Mm. Hi, Leia. Leia likes to watch nail videos, too. This is our last installation <laughs> of the 50s styles. So one of the things when I searched 50s that kept coming up again and again was um, like leopard print and uh, just animal print kind of in general. Uh, although a lot of it was fur. We won't be doing fur. Thank you very much on our nails. Um, but I saved these till the end because I was super excited to do them. So I didn't have a set of Safari Chic. So I decided would make my own Safari Chic-esque set. So let's make one together so you guys know what we're doing. So instead of taking the plastic just off this one, we're actually taking the paper backing off of it. So we've got the plastic still on there. And then this is, and this is, um, here, let me pull up my stuff here. Spot on, the leopard overlay. This is Chelsea later. Um, and then Sahara Jewel is the dots. And then I wanted a red accent. And I couldn't find a red I wanted, but I actually, heart of the matter, old Valentine's Day set, that was the red I wanted. So I took out a solid one, and I just split mine. So the patterned heart of the matter are in here, and the solids are in here. So nothing much to it. And then I'm using the medium dot punch, just, you know, to get some dots. So... Let's do that. So how has everybody been? We have been absolutely bananas <laughs> is an understatement. With the fall kickoff party, we are still going strong. Um, we have games and prizes going every single day through the... Saturday I think we'll do our mass drawings and the our um gotta use my crazy sharp tweezers here some of these didn't pull off um our big prizes are like three different purses um and then loaded up with prizes they each have nine full sets of nails in them so it's going to be good. I'm super excited for there to be a winner. I can't wait. I can't wait because somebody's, well, three somebody's are going to be super excited. And I'm just putting these in the, on each dot or each spot. And I'm only kind of doing this middle area because um, I'm not using these as full strips. But if you were using them, is full sh full strips and wanted a better um, safari chic dupe then you would cover the whole nail but I'm not covering the whole nail because I'm not not using it I'm only using it as slants so and then once I have them on there I can just pick my little dots off and it's easier once they're stuck on there, that's why I've done it that way. Also, it was a lot doing all these, so I would not mind um, just doing one as an accent. But, I'll do it again, I'm sure of it. Okay, so then I took the plastic off this and left the backing. And I'm going to line these up. And you could do any color, and you could do any backing. I just wanted a um, Safari Chic-esque look. 
I'm squishing it good with my squeezer. And then, this is the one I made a couple nights ago. I've got a lot of plastics going with these. So when you're wanting to make V-tips, you're going to face the two together. And they don't have to be a matching set. They could be contrasting, and that's super cute too. And then you're going to cut. Now if you want it to be a super steep V, you would cut like this. If you want it less steep, like this. I think I'm going kind of somewhere in the middle. I wound up breaking my thumbnail because I'd left it plain for a couple days and never fails and I forgot to show this is what I've got on keratin three day growth so I have been doing on Fridays in our nail party I have been doing um, a live nail thing it has been very very fun that is for sure so I haven't been posting any nails on Fridays but for those of you that are there it's been a blast and I've got one more coming up I'm super excited for the one we're doing this Friday let me grab my little nipper and as I always say you could stop right there stinking adorable We're going to have some serious layers at the tips of these nails because, you know, there's two layers on each of these safari chic dupes. And then, you know, it doubles at the end. So next thing you know, you got four layers at your tips. So I'm going to use my little warmed up flaxseed slash rice corn bag on these for a bit because I want them to get really um, I don't want to say melted but kind of it is melted like I want them to get really melted together being there is so much going on so when I get um, when I get these all done here I'm gonna throw that on just for a few minutes over the top of my hands nice and warm and it'll help everything settle in so thick I know that I'm not going to be able to I mean I could do it with my other thumb but I would definitely risk pushing it back you guys I don't want to do that so the other thing besides the leopard print that came up was bows so cute and leopard and red was a big a big theme so that's where we're going with this when we get this part done so rather than doing like an art finger or art thumb like I normally do we did everything the same and then we're gonna add wait to get all fired up because like that's all I kept thinking that was all fired up would have been my would have been the red I was looking for but so is this from part of the matter is definitely the red I was looking for so taking that plastic off this is my little mini bow punch these are available everywhere Amazon Etsy you know whatever suits you and I'm going to Line that up in there the best I can. Punch out one. See, there's my little bow. Two. 
two two little bows and then we're gonna use our dangerously sharp friends here pull it off gently 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 there we go oh my lord shut up right now you guys oh it's so cute with that little red glue on there okay on board I'm on board now Come, booger. There we go. So I put it mostly on my nail, but also are on the safari. But I have the tips hanging down. Oh my goodness. Okay. Andrea. This one's screaming 50s to me. I think it's the pattern and the little bow. So, so cute. Okay. All right, you guys. I love that. Okay, so after my last live in the party on Friday, I will be back to my Monday, Thursday YouTube schedule, which will be nice to get myself back on track. And this is the end of the 50s, so I think... I'll be able to jump into fall. Um, I've definitely got to do some back to school. I kicked off my like back to school meetings today, um, bright and early. Oh, I know what I have to show you guys. Okay, sit tight because this is going to be worth it. Let me clean up my mess. So I've still got to do a couple back to school sets, but those won't be until, I don't go back to school till September 9th, so it's still going to be a while. Okay, so I started a little second binder, and this is what I put in it. Let me move it so I don't bump the camera. My friend Crystal Frederick picked up these little um, trading card pages, so there's nine of them to put partials in you guys. And then you can see the back and the front of them. <gasps> How smart is that? So now, I can put my spots. And I actually split my spots. So these are full coverage spots. And these are top and bottom spots. So I split those. So those can go in. And then I've got my little bit of Heart of the Matter and my patterned Heart of the Matter. So those can go in. How good is this? So, um, and that's a Chelsea. Let me make sure I don't already have one open. I don't think I do. That was my fear that when I went through this, I was going to find um, a bunch of du <laughs> duplicate sets. But I didn't. Okay, so... These are just trading card pages, so if you go dig through your kids' Pokemon <laughs> books, you probably already have some. But it holds 18 per page. What a great way to be able to look through front and back. Oh, Crystal, you're brilliant. So excited. So excited for this. And then the other thing I put in here was I just moved my sheer section over my sheer slash um, overlay section. I just moved it into here because it was pretty thick from the, not because we have so many options for sheer and overlays, but because um, I have a bunch of champagne sugar, I have a bunch of glitter sweet, like I have a lot of the overlays because to me they're probably the fastest way to adjust something, you know. And one of the gals said, Tina I think was the one who said that she was going to put twosies in this. Isn't that a smart idea? So if you have like five of one twosie, you could put it in here so you can actually see what you have and use it. And use it. It's crazy. Alright ladies, have a fantastic week. And if you're in the party, I'll see you Friday for our last big ruckus live. And if you're not, I will see you next Monday.
Have a good one.